Time now to check in with ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher. Every Friday, she visits one of the area's fine restaurants, and today she joins us from Cask and Ale in downtown Sarasota. I am so happy to be back in downtown Sarasota. We're at Cask and Ale. Now, this is what you call this upscale whiskey bar, gastro pub. Really fun to come out here. They're open at 4 o'clock on the weeknights, but they serve brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. I love the idea of a Saturday brunch when you're coming to the farmer's market. Get your things and then just put your bags down here and enjoy some brunch. You are going to spend the hour, you're going to meet some special people like the manager, Michael Scalzi. You might recognize that last name. Talk about some of the craft cocktails and this delicious food that they have right here at Cask and Ale. So stay with me throughout the hour as we bring you some high end scotch, whiskeys, bourbons, cocktails, and a darn good burger. We're coming back in just a few minutes. And I want you to meet the manager and a special friend of mine, Mr. Michael Scalzi. It's good to be with you at Cask and Ale. Great to have you here, Judy. So let's tell our viewers what can they expect when they come to Cask and Ale. Well, Cask and Ale, we originally started in 2013 in St. Pete. We opened up here in January, beginning of January in Sarasota. And basically our goal is just to provide this uh, a high-end tavern feel. Uh, we've got an excellent whiskey selection, scotch selection. We've got over 250 whiskeys and scotches from around the world, uh, handcrafted cocktails, completely fresh ingredients, make everything in-house. It's a scratch kitchen. We just want to provide the best food and drinks in Sarasota. That's our goal. It's so much fun here. Now, with Father's Day quickly approaching, you have this really awesome thing for people that love the highest top shelf. Tell us about that. Well, we're going to start our up the ladder happy hour. Uh, that's going to start on Father's Day. We're going to run it all day on Father's Day and then starting on Wednesdays. It'll run from 530 to 630. And basically what we're doing is we're giving our customers a chance to taste some of the really high end whiskeys, some of the stuff that's normally $50, $60 a pour for a fraction of the cost. We're going to be doing $12 pours, $15 pours and $20 pours of some of the ultra premium scotches, ultra premium whiskeys. We've got a couple vodkas and a couple tequilas in there as well. Pretty excited. I know somebody I can bring with me to try that out. <laughs> and I know you serve brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. Tell me about the hours. We do. Saturday and Sunday from 1130 to 3 we'll have our brunch menu. We've got live music. Uh, we still have all of our craft cocktails. We do bottomless mimosas as well. $12 for bottomless mimosas, awesome killer Bloody Marys. We make everything in-house, homemade Bloody Mary mix. We've got a bacon washed vodka, or excuse me, bacon washed bourbon that we use. Oh, uh, you just said it right there. <laughs> I'm in love. And those, and the, it starts at 11.30? Starts at 11.30 and goes till three. At three o'clock, we'll switch over to our dinner menu and continue dinner service until 2 a.m. on Saturday and midnight on Sunday. Michael, I got to tell you, it has been so much fun visiting with you already, and I know that the chef's coming out in just a few minutes, so we can talk through some of the great dishes, but my find, I think, of the week was when you served me this burger the other night. So darn good. It's a fantastic burger. It's got a great build on it, and Chef Justin will be out in just a second to tell you all about it. Michael, you're the best, and so is your dad. We'll be back next time to meet the chef and find out more about cask and ale. Meet Chef Justin Sells, who's really rocking it here at Cask and Ale, Justin. Thank you so much. I'm really glad you enjoy everything. Well, you really have that knack to, to bring out the gastro pub, that higher end tavern feel here. What inspires you? It's really just the spirits themselves, you know, I mean, and the cocktails, the great cocktails that uh, our team makes. It really bring, evokes a lot of flavors that goes with a lot of ingredients and food. So let's start talking about it and start with this beautiful salad. Thank you. So uh, we have our watermelon salad uh, served with some baby spinach, some uh, toasted hazelnuts, and a pecorino papado, which is like a peppercorn uh, sheep's milk hard cheese. Gives a nice uh, saltiness to the, to the watermelon. Uh, next, we have a shakshuka, which is uh, on our brunch menu. Uh, it's a uh, North African-style breakfast dish with the eggs that are cooked in the sauce with a little bit of tomato and red pepper uh, with some flatbread to go with it as well for dipping. It's, I love it. And over here, dish. the oysters? Oysters. So we have some fried oysters done in the Rockefeller style. So it has uh, some bacon, some spinach and cream, a little bit of herb saint, top of some melted brie cheese and bacon. A little, little decadent. Yeah, def <laughs> definitely, but it'll wash down well with a good cocktail. Agreed. And the biscuit? And then the biscuit, that's that's on our brunch menu as well. That's our uh, buttermilk fried chicken uh, mm. biscuit with a little bit of sorghum molasses. Uh, it's on our side uh, options on the on the brunch menu. 
Well, so you can get the best of both worlds. Yeah, so spot both these for <laughs> the weekend. And over here? Another great brunch offering. This is our Egg Sardou, a New Orleans classic of uh, tempura fried artichoke bottoms filled with short rib, poached eggs, and hollandaise sauce served over some cream spinach. And that's really an homage to you because you did your time in New Orleans I with did. Emerald, didn't you? I did. I really, really had a great time, and that's one of those dishes that I'll probably always take with me. It's a, I it's, bet. A, it's a fun flavor. Oh, you're going nowhere, sir. You're <laughs> staying right here in Sarasota. And of course, again, the burger. So our burger. So this is a, uh, a double patty burger. Um, that we get a proprietary blend of chuck, short rib, and brisket. Oh, the best of all. Yeah, so it, it really uh, blends well. Um, and then we have the croque madame, which is uh, mm. our final uh, brunch offering on the table here. It's uh, a ham and gruyere cheese sandwich with Mornay sauce and a fried egg. It's so French and so classic, you're gonna just love it. I have to tell you, Justin, you're really rocking it here. We're looking forward to having you on again and talk us some of the highlights of the menu items. What are good p other items people can expect as the menu continues to go and explore? Well, going into summertime, we're really starting to, you know, start focusing on seasonal flavors and, and still keeping, you know, smaller smaller portions in mind. So for sharing or, or for yourself to get two or three different dishes. So. I love that option. But stay with us because we have more options because dessert and a dessert cocktail is on the way. Just Justin, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Judy. Thank you. It's been a delicious visit here at Cascanale, and now I'm ready for dessert. What is it? A little espresso martini made by our talented Howard behind the bar. Oh, man, you guys are just too good to me. So whether you're finishing off with an espresso martini, look at that froth, or sticky toffee pudding, lovely whipped cream, a little chartreuse sauce, I think you're going to really enjoy Cascanel. Remember that special that they're going to start on Father's Day up the ladder, a great way to try the true premium premiums, and they'll carry that on on Wednesdays for an hour as well. Brunch is going to be a lot of fun. I've already been a few times, and I continue on, and I'm loving this menu. It's really the place to come and hang out and gather with friends and enjoy. So, guys, while I take a little bit of my espresso martini and sticky toffee pudding, I'm going to send it back to you and wish you a really good weekend.